Hey Josh, what's up? I'm looking at your burger on your website and I want you to do a picture of our, our mile burger just like the one that you have in your gallery. Is that doable? That's totally doable, but remind me what's on the mile burger. So on the mile burger is lettuce, tomato, onion, uh, ground beef patty, pepper jack cheese, a whole layer of pastrami, more pepper jack cheese, some Russian dressing, and it's on our signature Kaiser roll. Okay, that's a beast of a burger, and I'm not gonna tackle this one by myself. I'm gonna bring in the professionals. I'm bringing in Susie Eaton, who is a professional food stylist and burger aficionado in her own right. Susie, I need your help. Let's go tackle this behemoth of a burger. All right, we've got all the gear loaded in already and we're here before opening, which is super nice because then we're not disturbing anybody. So let's go ahead and head on back. What's really nice about this restaurant is they've got a big catering area in the back where we can totally take over. So we don't have to worry about like dealing with little corners of the restaurant. So let me go ahead, take you back there and introduce you to Susie. All right, Susie, you have got the whole kit here. Well, not the whole kit. Not the this whole kit. This is like kit. the baby kit this today. This is part of the kit, yes. <laughs> but it is the most important part of the kit. The heart of the kit. Yeah. So uh, obviously you're going to use a lot of different cool things here today that you've got yeah. set out. But what would you say are like two like vital things that you're absolutely going to use today? Okay, if you're going to limit me to two, <laughs> I'll pick the two most important. And I would have to say pins because anytime I do burgers or sandwiches, yeah. pins are the, the number one thing I use. And Ooh. as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different sizes of pins. <laughs> They're all kinds of pins. I so I have it. little tiny short pins because sometimes I, uh, what I'm using it for will poke through the other side and we don't want to see that. Right. I have a little bit longer ones for um, getting a little deeper. But Who so knew pins. there are so many different sizes? And where do you find these guys? I usually get them at the craft store or the fabric store. Ah, yeah. gotcha. Same thing with skewers. They do the same thing. Skewers and toothpicks I will use for the for the same kind of thing. And when the, when the burger's completely done, I usually put a skewer all the way through it okay. to hold it together, especially if you have talent that's holding the burger oh, yeah. has to have lots of skewers in it because it will just slide all Okay, over. well we're going to get a pin count by the end <laughs> of the video because yes. I want to know. And I have to always take that burger and throw it away right away because I literally will have people that will come and take it and try to eat it. Ah! And I can't have people Mouthful eating, of pins. Eating not pins, good. no good, not no good. good. All right, and one more thing. One more thing, I'd have to say my heat gun oh. because, you know, you have to have cheese. Cheese on burgers, always, always, and you have to melt it, and you have to melt it separately, so I use my heat gun for that. So we talked about, when we talked on the phone, what we had, like a vision for the images. Yep. So that kind of vision, just tell me back a little bit about like what you had in mind. Well, I mean, I've seen your work before. So um, there's a lot of different styles and every restaurant owner has a different vision of what they want their food to look like. Mm -hmm. um, with us being a New York style deli, we want bigger is better. Mm -hmm. um, it's all about the size, people eat with their eyes. With our uh, buffet line, people have to see what they eat. Um, or else they're not going to order it. Yeah. It's, it's all right there in front of them. So when they're looking at it on the menu board, we want it to be overly dramatic. We want it to be big. We want it to have that kind of look of, oh my goodness, <laughs> I want to eat that now. Like that burger shot, like you even referenced a burger shot that I have and you're like, I want that. That. And we can totally do that. And so that's what, we're what I about. did last night was I played around with the lighting a little bit, kind of made a mock one. Now you got to like bear in mind, this is clearly not your beautiful sandwich that Susie's going to style here shortly. All but good. I wanted to give you just an idea of like that dark yeah. and the grays and kind of the slates. Yep. Is that kind of what you had in mind? Yeah. Okay, good. And so we've got that set up here. We've got this dark background. I can really bring out the blues too, cool. because from like your branding standpoint, like blue is a very important part of your brand. It is. And so I want to make sure we'll definitely bring some of that out in the editing process, but kind of that slate to me gives you that industrial, kind of reminds me of the subway system a little bit. Yeah. So I think we can do it. Does that sound I good to it. you? I love it. All right. Okay, Josh, so we're making this amazing burger today. So what I would need you to do first uh, is make me one 
Okay. So I can see what it looks like. Right. And then what we'll do with that is we'll put it in on set so Joni can get her lights right and then I'll build it according to the, the layers that, and how they go. But what I'd like for you to do is bring me some bun options because we will go through those and pick the best of the best. Okay. Um, also, when you make the burger, if you'll undercook it for okay. me and then I'll brown it up as I need to. But you know, the, you know that the more you cook it, the more it shrinks down. Absolutely. We want that to look nice and big. So awesome. those are the things I really need to do. Um, we'll go through some of the garnishes. We'll, we'll look at your tomatoes and the lettuce. I brought some too because sometimes you can't control what shows up at your back door and sometimes they're a little pink, so I brought some things for that too. So Fantastic. that's where we'll start. I love it. All right, so we've got our gear all set up here today. I'm rocking a three light setup because I figured let's go big or go home. So let me orient you to what I have set up here so far. So I've first and foremost got my two Godox AD600 Pro mono lights. Of course, if you've got speed lights, you can totally rock those out as well. Um, I just feel like these are super reliable and beefy and I love them. And so I've got those set up, one with a 12 by 36 inch strip softbox with the grid on it. And then I've also got one with a reflector and a smaller grid. So this is gonna give us a really nice moody lighting because when I was talking to Josh about what he had as far as a vision for the images, we wanted something a little more dramatic, a little bit more poppy and vibrant, really make it food forward. And so we can do that with this kind of darker lighting setup. And then I also have one more additional light. I've got my TT685 Godox speed light with a snoot and a grid on it pointed as a spotlight on the back background so we get that really nice halo effect right around the back of our burger and then I'm shooting with the 5d mark IV here today I've got my trigger mounted and a 100 millimeter macro lens now we're not necessarily going to take advantage of the macro aspect of this because uh, we don't necessarily need to get super up close but I really like the compression you get on the 100 millimeter if you want to know more about why a 100 millimeter is a favorite lens of food photographers check out the video that I've got linked down below from Dennis the Prescott super informative and you'll see I'm also shooting tethered today, which is super helpful anytime you're collaborating with other people. Of course, I've got Susie here doing the food styling and I've got Josh who owns the restaurant. And so we all want to be able to look at the images and know we've got exactly the right photo before we pack it up and leave. All right, my burger's ready, Joni. Are you ready? I'm totally ready. You're sure? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'm ready. Okay, because I'm ready and if I, and the cheese is ready, so I need to make sure you're ready. I, and 100%, if you're gonna tell a food stylist that you are ready to shoot, you better be ready because they don't want to put it now in the set. After she's worked for like a good 20 minutes on making this the perfect burger, we don't want it to get on set and get sad. So if you're gonna say you're ready, you better be ready. Right. Burgers flying in. Okay. Oh gosh, I need to look, get my my thing so I don't, I don't crush it. Oh, that. Okay. Okay. Here okay. we go. Coming, coming, coming. Where would you like it? Okay, what part so of it? Okay, coming right towards the front. Get it right in a, here. Right there. Yeah, right there. Yep. Yeah. A little further forward. There you go. Okay. Right there. Is that good? Looks great. All right. Love it, love it, all right. And Does he want the fries in this too? Uh, we'll do one without okay. and then we can add the fries. Because I figure if we need to, we can do a composite. Sure, so sure. So that we get the burger looking absolutely yep. primo. Hot 
damn woman. Here we go. Does it look good? I like. I think it looks fantastic. Here, I'm going to center it just a little bit more. Let me. And then when I, I want to make sure the lid what looks do you think? good. Yeah, the lid looks good. <gasps> the lid looks good. I didn't yeah. know if I needed to tilt it, but I think it's good because they're so big. All right, Josh, here's what we got. <laughs> Unreal, that looks amazing. Does that look good? It's like your burger, but just a, a little better. Oh my goodness, that looks incredible, but well done. Hopefully the guests will be excited to want to eat that. Oh my so. goodness. Awesome, oh, yeah. well good job well done, you guys. Hey. Nicely done, Susie. Thank you so I much. I love it, thank you. So thank you so much to Susie for helping me out on this shoot. And if you want more food styling tricks and some insight from her, she's the best out there. So definitely go check her out. I've got her information linked down below. And thank you so much to Josh and the team at Miracle Mile for having us in. If you want the best pastrami in New York style deli in Phoenix, well, you gotta go check out Miracle Mile Deli. And you'll see I'm also shooting Tether today, which is super helpful because I'm working with multiple people. Not only have I got Susie, but I've also got Josh. And so we all want to be able to look at the images and see what we're going to yes. remix. I like to go fast because YouTube likes it fast. They do me three times X. No, no, no. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> We're like super candid. Look at us being candid. Hey! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. This is the one, Johnny. <laughs> I feel like that would be distracting. <laughs> PSA. I told her that over. was over. I told her that was my biggest <laughs> pet PSA. <peeve. laughs>